Hmm. It is the morning cryptos. It is Monday, December 4th. It is day 127 of my 90 day challenge and uh, had a nice day off yesterday and we're going to look at the charts and we're going to see what's going on and uh, we're going to take it from here. Let's start the music and let's do the morning cryptos. All right, so Bitcoin. Oh, look at that. It's up in the $11,234 range. Very nice. So let's see if there's any news. Uh, by the way, if you haven't checked out this article, seven questions about Bitcoin you were too embarrassed to ask, you might want to. Um, I am going to... I think I left a I left a link under Saturday's video for that. All right, let's uh, hit refresh over here and see what the hell is going on. Looking heavy, Bitcoin price eyes correction after new record high. Yeah, there's going to be a correction, people. I probably I don't know, whatever. Okay, Bitcoin bubble talk. What would a pop look like? Bitcoin bubble's okay. It'll come back stronger. Neo tells media. Yeah, everybody's worried about the bubble, but here's the deal. When everybody's worried about a Bitcoin bubble, that's when we're going to look. Uh, and let's let's deny Google the opportunity to know my location. Anyway, um, so yeah, everybody talks about it being a bubble. No one talked about the use of cell phones being a bubble, okay? This is a technology as much as it is a financial thing, so... Should be interesting. And uh, I have a couple of yellow lines here. Let's dial this in a little bit. A couple of little yellow lines. This is These are some possible places where it could come back to when it comes back. And believe me, when it comes back, I'll be buying. But I'm not buying now. So, again, don't chase a rising market. Unless you're brand new to Bitcoin and don't have any, uh, and you want to buy a little bit. I mean, feel free to buy a little bit, you know, but... Uh, I think we are due for a pretty good correction, but I don't know. I thought we were due for a correction a while back, and all we had was this little tiny, this little tiny day here that only looks like a correction on the one-hour chart, you know. Uh, so there, there we go. He was that it, or was that this was it right here? Zupa duba. So anyway. Or no, it was this was it, this big one over here. I don't know. I can't remember. It's all it's all a blur. It's all just a blur, up and down, up and down all day, every day. All right. So back to the one hour chart. Let's just we're gonna grind through these quick because my buddy Mike is here and we're gonna be talking cryptos and we're gonna figure out how to set up. I wanted to start doing these live. That way I don't have to uh, spend a half hour editing them and half hour processing them in a half hour uploading them and you can if there's anything breaking I can get right on and start talking about it so Bitcoin cash uh, it's looking like it's Bitcoin cash you know no big news here today it's just a little bit of a sell-off perhaps let's look at a one-hour chart do 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 see we had a pretty decent boost um, you know, I'm in the money on Bitcoin Cash, so I'm okay if it consolidates a little bit. That would be nice. Not a bad place to get you some. I I am thinking Bitcoin Cash is a decent thing to be getting. I would like I would like to see more of a sideways trading range. I'd like to see things quiet down for a little bit, so that we can kind of get a sense of where the price wants to consolidate, and then kind of evaluate the value from there but uh again by the dips people we've uh we had a boost and now we're having a little bit of a sell-off um but it's it doesn't seem to be huge at the moment um what's our volumes looking like over here bitcoin 5.93 billion ethereum 80 882 billion 
So Bitcoin Cash is right up here with Ethereum. Um, 800 to 816, not too far behind. IOTA is going crazy. We're going to look at IOTA. 20, up 26%. And I've been watching IOTA and I've been wanting to get IOTA for a long time and I haven't been able to because I live in the USSA and I'm not allowed to buy IOTA. That pisses me off. I don't like being told that I can't do something. Okay, this is Bitcoin on the one hour. Let's go back to the one day chart so we keep our heads straight here. That's quite the rise, huh? <laughs> Bitcoin gold. I do not. I have a little bit, but I don't know what to think about it. I'm still watching it. I think it's probably going to work its way up like everything else. Dash. Ah, we finally had a little bit of a sell-off in Dash. I took profits, like, every time it was up, I took a little. Um, what I've been doing is taking just a, whatever's to the right of the decimal point as profits in both Ethereum, Dash, Litecoin. Because when it is up, you do want to take some profits. And I've been putting my profits into Quantum, Neo, Omise Go, Ripple, EOS, and... Um, that's been fun. So let's look at this little on our chart, see what's going on with Dash. And see how nicely Dash consolidates. It makes these big moves and then it consolidates. So uh, I had this, I was looking at this bottom and it definitely boosted from there. And so let's, I'm going to get rid of this line and see what it's looking like now. So we have, we have some pretty good support down here, maybe we'll draw a line like that. All right, so that's our kind of our support line for Dash. So if it consolidates and kind of moves along this line, that's I think would be very good. I would like it to consolidate. I would like Dash to get so used to being at 740, 760, 780, 760, 740, 760, 780, you know. I would like that because I think Dash is going to go to a thousand and I want it to have a nice solid base to do that. <laughs> All right, let's look at EOS. A little sell off in EOS. I mean, it really boosted nicely. I was thinking of selling off a little bit as well, but I was like, you know, it's still early. And I'm, I was putting a lot of my profits into EOS um, on any dip. So this might be a dip when I buy some. Um, I want to go back to the one hour chart. So we have, we have some support in EOS right along this area. So I would expect this sell off to come down and test the support today. And if it does, I will buy some. That to me looks like a, you know, it could be a buy signal. Um, buy the dips, people. I don't think EOS is going much farther down than this unless there's some horrible news about how, whatever, you know, who knows. Hmm. All right. So Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum. Let's look at Ethereum now. Okay. Let's look at Ethereum. Okay. I drew some crazy lines at Ethereum. It really only makes sense on the one hour chart, I think. Uh, Looks like I'm going to get rid of my lines just to get a fresh, fresh view here. We have a pretty decent top, and we have, looks like a fairly consolidating kind of a move here. That looks pretty good. Um, of course, there's lots of other things I don't know, so I'm always delightfully surprised. But look at this. Ethereum is consolidating. Look at that. It's sweet as sweet. Look at this, everyone. How exciting. Here we go. That to me is really, that's a good sign. It shows that Ethereum is kind of supporting. It's kind of consolidating. This is the new price area. Good. We kind of needed that to happen. It was a crazy week last week. Crazy week. So... Keep an eye on Ethereum. If it continues to establish uh, this kind of a little range here, I may start buying some more Ethereum. <laughs> we'll see. 
I want to make sure that it likes its new price level and it's pretty locked into that. That it's used to being at that price. And again, people, this is the hypnosis of money. These prices are all in our minds, right? Remember, the U.S. dollar is just a piece of paper, right? It's the same exact piece of paper for a $1 bill as a $100 bill or a $50 bill or a $20 bill. Same exact thing. The only difference is in our mind. Right? So keep that in mind that money itself is imaginary and that actually digital assets, contrary to anything else, are the most permanent <laughs> uh, the most permanent form of currency or value storage ever invented in the history of the world other than gold and silver. So interesting stuff and a hell of a lot more convenient to use. All right, now let's look at IOTA. IOTA's going crazy. Like, what the hell is going on with IOTA? Of course, it's still only at $2.44. So that's okay. We still have time, people. Don't chase a rising crazy market. Wait for a decent pullback. And it looks like we had a couple of hours of pullback. You could have gotten in, but I'm looking for a bigger pullback. Let's look at the one day chart. Yeah, that's straight up, people. This is, this is going to need to consolidate a little bit. I want to see one of these sideways trading ranges, and maybe by then it will be available on some exchanges here in the U.S. And uh, I was just saying to my friend Mike, I'm looking forward to when the decentralized exchanges really happen so I can buy what I want, when I want, where I want, whenever I want, anywhere in the world. So IOTA, it's cranking, baby. And IOTA is a groundbreaking new technology. They use the Tangle instead of a blockchain. So keep an eye on that. It could be, it could definitely be a game changer. Okay, Litecoin. We have a little bit of a quieting up here at the top, perhaps. We'll see. Let's look at the one hour chart. Yeah, okay, so I drew a line of what I thought might be a rising support, and it dipped below that, right? So all we do is we adjust the line. We go, okay. And it's now at a support spot, but we have kind of, uh, you know, I'll just try to connect these three tops. So that could be a triple top, or that just could be my imaginational top. The other... The other top is here, that right there. So I like this. I think it's a consolidation day here. Pretty cool. Yeah, so I would like Litecoin to be just getting used to 100 and just really solid at 100 so that it just totally forgets about its days down at the 40 and $50 mark. <laughs> Just forget about it. It's, it's old ancient history. Move on, Litecoin. Move forward. <laughs> Looks okay. Looks good. Neo. Neo broke out. Neo had a little breakout on the one hour chart. Not a big one, but a little one. I got to go to the one day chart. Make sense of it. Okay. Let's, uh, come on, charty. Big wick at the beginning is always screws me up on this chart. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger and then move it. Come on, let's go. There we go. Now I can see. All right, so Neo has had a bit of a boost. Uh, it still hasn't really broken out of you know, I mean, it hasn't like really gone parabolic, but it kind of looks like it wants to right now. So let's see if we can go to a one hour chart and make sense of it. See, we have these rising bottoms and we had a we had a resistance point here. We've broken through that resistance point and now kind of our next resistance point is being approached right now. So this could signal a bit of a breakout for Neo. Doo, 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 doo. So what's going on? Yeah, we're we're boosting on the one hour chart. We have these rising bottoms. We had a little sell-off, then boom. Interesting. 
I got some Neo. I think I have five of them. So that would be cool. All right. And let me say go in the U.S. dollar. All right, I got to go back to one day chart. It's, it's easier to kind of pull out and then go in. Then to go in and then pull up. Okay, so <laughs> to go in, you know, I didn't mean it quite like that. <laughs> go in and pull out. Yeah. All right. Um, this is where I got into Omise Go, this yellow line here. I bought my first Omise Go back here just because I thought it was a good project. I wasn't really buying it based on any chart reading. I just wanted it, and it was back in September. And I've come a long way since September, people, in how I can look at these charts. So every day, if you do something every day, eventually you start getting good at it. That's why I do these every single day. That's my discipline. And I'm also I'm trying to model it for you guys. And this is just what I do every day. Anything that I have money on or that I'm interested in, I look at. And I pay, I pay attention to it, right? Um, and... Yeah, I think Omise Go might be getting ready to go. And it seems like a little bit of a quieter day today, but we'll see. It's just the beginning of the day here in the United States. Things could heat up. It's Monday. People are getting uh, answering their email right now, you know, looking at uh, having their little Monday morning meetings, you know, and then, uh, then probably around noon they'll go, oh, huh, look at this. Omise Go is really taking off. So I expect it to make a run. It's a one-day chart, remember? A run for 12. That would be nice. And let's see what it's looking like on the one hour. Yeah, it kind of looks weird on the one-hour chart. I don't know what this... There we go. Ah, I don't know if the, these lines are screwing up the chart. I'm moving back here. See if that makes it a little less wonky. There we go. <sighs> Sometimes I I get very impatient with the charts. And it's, I know it's not the chart, it's my mouse. I have a weird mouse. Okay, so let me say go. On this hour, it's looking to break through this nine dollar sixty cent range so go omise go i have me some of that and i want it to go up so that i could be a rich man and record my next album my next cd by the way my cd is available at bandcamp.com this portion of the program has been brought to you by mark shepherd's new cd the key to your cage songs about freedom and being who you really want to be in the world and all the songs actually have hypnotic language patterns in them. So if you listen to them, your life will change for the better. It's like magic. Mm. Hypnotic music. I had a friend who's like in Bali or someplace and she was doing mushrooms with a friend. And she's like, man, you should market your music to stoners, Mark. We got really high and it was like life changing. And we saw the, the answers of the universe and your and heard your music and it was great i'm like yeah cool so uh if you are into altered states check out my music <laughs> but you don't need any other substance just breathe and listen and it could take you where you want to go quantum now back to a regularly scheduled program quantum 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 i could have taken profits up here but i am in quantum for the long term so instead i just bought more when we had this dip okay and people i hope you're getting how simple this is when you see a sell-off like this it's not the end of the world we're in the greatest bull market in the history of the universe um so if there's a sell-off that's an indication at the moment that it's a good time to get you some more all right so Quantum's looking good on the one-day chart. Let's look at it on the one-hour chart. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like on the one-hour chart. <laughs> I would not hesitate to get more today if I was taking profits from something else and needed to put it someplace. I would put it in Quantum. I liked over the weekend... 
I liked how Quantum was kind of mellow. And uh, it's a solid project. They have a five-year plan. This is so at the beginning of their program. And I'm pretty convinced that Quantum is going to go at least to 50, possibly to 100, in the next 12 months. And eventually it's going to be a 500 to to $1,000 project we'll see but not a bad time to get you some we've had a pretty good dip and it's it's you know it's kind of consolidating here on the 12 the 12 spot so I would not hesitate to get more even if it's not as low as it was last week or whatever right things change okay XMR Monero consolidating up here up at the 194 range that's pretty cool and Ripple. Now, Ripple is very interesting. My friend Mike, who's visiting me, is the, the guy that said, Mark, check out Ripple. So I've been watching Ripple for him, and I got some. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cheap, but it's again, it's a very different coin from, let's say, Dash, in that they're not concerned about, you know, uh, limiting they, they literally it's really more of a in my, and I could be totally off on this but my perception of ripple is that it's kind of being used by banks as really not so much money but as a token an intermediary uh, vehicle to move money and I I don't know how manipulatable it is by the banks or by the the people that run ripple or create ripple or manage ripple or whatever they do with it so I don't know. Uh, all I know is I looked at the chart and I see it's in a pretty massive triple top. There are rising bottoms and it's rising right along this this line here that I drew. And I think it's going to come up here and I think it's going to make a break. So um, I would consider that Ripple is still, still a buy and I like the fact that it's kind of consolidating here. So um, I would, I would buy it anywhere in this range because at some point this range between, <clears throat> and remember this is a range between 16 cents and 28 cents. This is not a range between, you know, <clears throat> 8,000 and 11,000 like Bitcoin, <clears throat> right? It's a whole different perspective. This is a very small range. It just looks huge on this chart because that's the way the chart is kind of working. So <clears throat> it looks like it's whipsawing, but it's not really. That's what I'm trying to say. And uh, so that's my perception. And again, this is a game of perception, people. Value is something that is perceived. All right, basic attention token. I have been getting more and more of this. Um, and uh, check out... Uh, no, I'm not going to... I found a site called Crypto Compare, and and uh, they're comparing. Uh, they compare different cryptos, and there was a conversation about why Basic Attention Token is superior to Adex, and I'm like, oh, Adex! I hadn't heard of Adex, right? Uh, here's one guy said he spoke to an online advertising guru, and his first reaction when I showed him Basic Attention Token was, "This fix this fixes everything that's wrong with pay for click online advertising," and he was impressed by the backing. This one has some real promise. I'm buying more as soon as the messenger pigeon with my deposit gets from my bank account to Coinbase. So, um, so basic attention token versus ADEX, who will prevail? And right now, I think that's that's the presupposition is false. I think there's room for both of them because they do different things. Uh, and basic attention token um, is already being implemented in the Brave browser, and I'm using my Brave browser every day, and I love it. I've made it my default browser, and it's, you know, the the uh, the cool thing about this. This is a great site, CoinAnalysis.io. Check this out, people. CoinAnalysis.io, and I will try to remember to put this link below. Um, because it kind of compares side by side, and that's going to happen more and more. There will be competition in this space, you know. Uh, and what's cool about Basic Attention Token is that the founders, uh, Brian 
Ike here. He's the co-founder of Firefox and Mozilla, and Brian Bondi is a senior software engineer at Mozilla. So they know what they're doing. Uh, at Exchange, the founders are uh, Ivo Georgiev and Dimo Stoyanov, and they've, they've created something called Streamio. So um, I checked out Streamio, an easy-to-use video platform. So this is real stuff in the real world, people, that does real things, right? So let's get back to it. So I am extremely bullish on basic attention token, and I am I am buying it whenever I take profits, and I want to put it someplace low that I think is going to go up, right? And it's, it's 0. 0.000387.96 cents. Oh, no, that's it. Sorry. God, I... I'm such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> that's it. It's an Ethereum. It's a, It's it's measured in Ethereum. What's its What's its price? Let me Let me see if I can get its price. It's early in the morning, people. It's early for me, even though I slept in. My buddy and I were up late talking. I don't know where basic attention token went. Where the hell is it? Come on. Don't make me have to edit this. There's so many coins, people. There are just so many coins. And Civic, Civic was like in the hundredth place. That's also one I'm gonna look at next. Okay, there we go. Basic attention token. Oh, it's 0.17 cents. Okay. So it's 17 cents right now. So what do you have to lose? Put a hundred bucks in, right? That would be my recommendation if I were allowed to give recommendations. If I lived in a free country and I could just tell you what I really think. Uh, without worrying about my freedom of speech uh, being monitored by uh, a secret uh, surveillance agency, I would tell you to get some damn basic attention token. Because at the very least, let's say let's say the value never rises, but you have all these basic attention tokens. You can then buy advertising with it on the Brave browser, or you could literally reward uh, content creators with basic attention tokens. I mean, this is, instead of applauding, you know, and say, oh, that was really nice. Just, you would drop someone a bat. Here, here's a bat. I'm going to go to bat for you, <laughs> right? So I think that's pretty cool. Let's just kind of quickly move on and wrap this up for the day. Uh, Civic against Bitcoin. Civic against Ethereum. I like the Civic against Ethereum a little better. And I, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the three dimensions of of an altcoin versus Ethereum versus the U.S. dollar, so that kind of triangle thing. Blah. Um, the other day, my, my buddy Mike was telling me something was down against Ethereum. So Ethereum was up and this other thing was down. It wasn't down against the U.S. dollar. It was just down against Ethereum. And he took some Ethereum and bought it. You know, so it's, we're going to, the parts of our brains that deal with that are going to begin to expand. So it's a good thing for our brains. Another little project that I like so much, not so little, Salt. And ooh, Salt has taken off. This damn first wick makes the chart weird, though. So Salt is really cranking at the moment. And this is Salt against Ethereum. Let's see if I can find Salt over here. On this, there we go, Salt. So it's $6. Okay. <sighs> It's up 13%, and Ardor is up 13%. That's one I don't follow, so I, you know, there's so much to look at, people. And again, uh, a couple of you have recommended Cardano, I think is the name of it, so I'll be checking that out. I did check it out a little bit. I wasn't, I wasn't initially grabbed by it. I like a, I want to be in projects that I am grabbed by, that I, that I am excited by. Um, I think that's a big piece of it. Like, I'm excited by Elon Musk and Tesla, you know. Um, I read an article about how, you know, sometimes the early, you know, the people that, you know, kind of break the ground don't end up doing that well. But I think, I think Tesla is far from done. I think, you know, people are bitching because they're running into some delays with the Model 3. But I think... I think they're going to disrupt the hell out of the auto industry. And so what? So what if the other automakers are starting to make electric cars? You know, 
So what? That's what we need to do. We need to get the hell off of fossil fuels, right? And we need renewable energy. That that should be something that everybody is working on on the planet. That should be the big growth industry, you know? So that's my philosophy anyway. That's it for today, people. And uh, I'm going to go hang out with my buddy Mike. I'm going to learn how to get myself uh, onto YouTube live uh, streaming or whatever they call it. And um, I'm going to start doing these live in the morning. And uh, that's it. If you guys have questions, please leave them below. If you have comments, please leave them below in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you liked what I do for you every day. And uh, I'm just sharing this for you. And uh, if it's helpful, great. If not, that's okay, too. Uh, please subscribe. Please give me the thumbs up. What else? Check out my Better Man project. There'll be a new video up there today as well. And uh, if you like music, check out my music. I really would appreciate it, uh, particularly... My new CD, The Key to Your Cage, it starts with my song Freedom, which you hear every day on the morning cryptos at the beginning and the end. That's my song Freedom. And uh, so that's it. Let's, let's have a great day today, people. And to realize that maybe we're in a little bit of a consolidation day, so it's not maybe as sexy as some of the days when it's boosting. However, salt is boosting. Salt is moving. There's movement everywhere, and there's possibilities, and there's opportunities everywhere. So hold that in your mind for the rest of the day and allow yourself to have the hope that you deserve as a human being, that you can take care of yourself and your family and you can help to make the world a better place day by day, bit by bit, moment by moment. And so that's what I'm working on and uh, I think that's it. So start the music. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>